Excellencies, Honorable Delegates, Ben Sims, CEO of TET, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government of Ethiopia and my ministry, it's a great, great pleasure to provide a few remarks on the TET annual conference and particularly on this session focusing on the important topic of health and social care workers. It is indeed very fitting we are addressing this topic considering the challenges faced globally and the year declared as the International Year of Health and Social Care Worker by WHO. I would also like to thank the conference organizers of that. I've had the pleasure of meeting your Chair of Trustees, Judith Ellis, when she visited Addis Ababa a couple of years ago, and also know that the founder, Professor Sir Eldred Parry, is a long-standing friend of Ethiopia and to many senior faculty of Ethiopian medical schools. I thank you for the work you're doing in partnership with my ministry and to improve the lives of patients with non-communicable diseases in particular. The latest challenge that the globe has faced has transformed the world into a small village. The COVID-19 pandemic has been devastating and health and, care worker, health and care workers have been at the center of this storm. This conference reminds us of the vital importance of collaboration across borders. COVID-19 pandemic has claimed the lives of over 4 million people and affected nearly 223 million people. In Ethiopia, nearly 318,000 people are affected and the day's toll closing towards 6,000 people. Despite the challenge, COVID-19 was also an opportunity for us in Ethiopia and I believe for us all globally to evaluate the preparedness of our facilities, critical care units in general in our country and also work towards strengthening these systems. Our vaccination campaign began in March this year through the COVAX facility support, whereby 2.2 million vaccine doses were made available in the initial phase. This focused on healthcare providers, elderly with comorbidities and other high-risk high groups. Going forward, this has expanded to vaccination of more groups with more vaccines being made available by our partners and friends globally. But as we know, we are a big country with over 100 million people. So while countries like the UK may have enjoyed the vaccination coverage of more than 80%, our level of vaccination coverage is just approaching 3% only as we have now vaccinated a little over 2.9 million people. I have been asked to express my hopes for this International Year of Health and Care, health and care Worker. My first hope is that we will all work together in solidarity to champion equal access to vaccines for every individual in the world. Otherwise, as we all say, no one is safe until we are all safe. The TED conference theme is power of partnerships, solidarity in the shadow of COVID-19. I sometimes feel that health and care workers are rather better at delivering solidarity than many of us. And indeed, solidarity is what we need in this international year of health and social care worker, between individuals, between nations, between governments. The COVID-19 pandemic has arrived in Ethiopia while we are still fighting our long-standing challenges, communicable diseases, the continuing maternal and child health problems, and the new emerging crisis for the past year, several years, which is the rising of non-communicable diseases. In Ethiopia, almost 300,000 premature diseases a year are due to chronic diseases like diabetes, respiratory and heart conditions, and over four in 10 Ethiopians will die due to NCDs. And by 2040, NCDs are projected to cause almost 70% of Ethiopia's disease burden, which is quite uh, starking from the 17% we had in 1990. NCDs are a particular concern also in Ethiopia's rural areas, as rural patients, many of them very poor, face long journeys to health facilities in difficult con conditions and at high cost. They need to access NCDs, NCD services closer to their homes, and hence this is why we are working as a government of Ethiopia in scaling up NCD decentralization to primary health care units following the adoption of our national strategy in 2014. And for this, we also acknowledge the support which TED has provided. More recently, I also applaud the work TED has done 
together with Novartis Social Business to train health workers in the diagnosis and provision of care for people with hypertension and diabetes. Over 200 primary health facilities have been reached through your efforts in the past two years. In Ethiopia, TET has been here for a long time, starting with helping medical schools in Gondar and Jemai universities. These universities at the time had only few and young staff with a constant, which are at constant risk of turnover. And with the links that were made with UK universities to the, by, through the support of TET, this has helped retain staff and engage them in research and in short subspecialty trainings and providing scholarship on a 90-day course on tropical medicine at the London School of Tropical Medicine. So my second hope for this international year of health and social care worker is that these kinds of partnerships continue. The Ethiopian government and my ministry in particular appreciate the long-standing partnership with the government of UK. And we are admirers of your national health service while recognizing, of course, that there are substantial differences between the two countries. So it was uh, therefore a particular concern that we recently experienced cuts in the allocation of UK aid to Ethiopia, which we also know it is a global, it had happened globally. But UK partnerships have been and are still one of the great supports for our health system strengthening program in our country. Much work has been done in planning this program and I express my hope that such funding programs will continue into the future as a channel for sharing expertise and specialist knowledge, which are very valuable to us. I began by my speech by talking about the grave challenge facing the world. And this, we all know, will remain, at least for a while. So my third and final hope for this international year of the health and social care worker, therefore, has to be that the contribution of our health and care workers are made recognized not just today, not just in the storm of the pandemic, but it continues tomorrow when the headlines may be moved on. So let us never forget what we have learned about the debt we owe to our health workers over the past two years. I thank you all.